We are pleased to report that we have survived the first week of our no shopping challenge. Hi, we're the Provident Preppers. Last week we embarked on a challenge to see if we could live for 90 days on what we have stored and what we can produce in our garden. As you can see, we're all alive and well. The real challenge is in the future as we slowly deplete our stored resources. We thought you'd enjoy a few highlights from our first week. Isn't this pathetic? This is week one and the ice cream is gone. Great sadness. This is our report. Week one of the 90 day challenge. One of the things that we hadn't anticipated is the impact that not being able to go to a restaurant or pick up fast food could have on our lifestyle. We go to the doctor's office and then on the way home we get to get a treat. And all that is gone. That was a little bit of a surprise for us, the impact that that would actually have. So Christy has her own form of fast food now. My new fast food is canned vegetables and fruit and canned fruit. It's good. This week we learned the importance of can openers. Can openers are extremely important when you're needing to open a lot of cans. So you want good quality can openers. And you need a backup and a backup for your backup. What is the most challenging part of not being able to go to the grocery store? Um, I don't think it's really a grocery store so much as it is like restaurants. Cause I miss Subway and I miss Taco Bell. <laughs> Our chickens have done a fabulous job of providing us with fresh eggs. So we're trying to find different ways to incorporate them into our diet and make best use of that resource. These are just some eggs with peppers and chives from our garden. We have a lot of eggs. How do you feel about eating eggs all the time? Yummy. I like eggs. You don't get tired of them? Mm -mm. Well, I might. I mean, it's only been a week. But I think the kids' favorite way to eat eggs is actually in fried egg sandwiches. What is your favorite way to eat eggs? Egg sandwich or in cake. I like egg sandwiches or just scrambled eggs with lots of cheese. What are you going to do when the cheese runs out? I will make my own with how the old people used to do it. The old people? So do you have a cow? No, but I know people who do. As you may recall, in our opening video for this challenge, we had some things in our freezer. One of those things is homemade frozen burritos. When we have a big family gathering, we often have what we call Mexican bar. It's fun and easy because everyone can have what they want. You can make burritos, you can have just beans and rice, however you want to do that. Usually, I make a full crock pot of the meat and the black beans and the pinto beans and then a big pot of rice, which means at the end of the meal, there's going to be a lot of leftovers and we've developed this tradition where we just make all of that into burritos and put them in the freezer and they are a fabulous fast food in our home and the kids have really really enjoyed that ben likes it best with barbecue sauce so do i one favorite way of preparing the burritos is to place them in a 9 by 13 pan and smother them with green enchilada sauce and some cheese that's a really good meal you can also see in this picture beets and carrots from our garden. Jonathan and his beets, yum yum. We also had a lot of beans and rice. Beans and rice are a foundational food storage item. We have a lot of it in our long-term food storage and it provides the calories and the beans are very high in nutrition. So now we get to see just how many ways we can cook the beans. In this case, you can see beets and Swiss chard. Do you get the message? Johnny's favorite. We also enjoyed oatmeal this week with apples that were still good, but they were on the tail end of their life, so they get cut up and put in uh, with my batch of oatmeal. Everybody loved it. Yep. Now the snickerdoodles. This tells you what a shallow person I am. We were asked to bring fruit for a bridal shower, and I had to decline because I couldn't go to the store, but I told them that I would bring cookies. Usually, I would mix up a batch of my famous cowboy cookies that are chocolate chip oatmeal, but I didn't do that this time because I only have a few chocolate chips and I'm not about to give those away. So we made a batch of snickerdoodles and they quickly became Ben's favorite cookie ever. Now when I was in the process of making them, I did discover that I was all out of cream of tartar. 
which is one of the things that makes snickerdoodles so good. But I substituted some lime juice for the cream of tartar and they actually turned out better than ever. We also had some bananas that were nearing the end of their life, so they got put into banana chocolate chip muffins. And one of the great things about these is that you can take them wherever you go. So when the girls go to play tennis or something, they can just throw them in their bag and they have something that's fairly nutritious to be able to give them a little energy boost. You notice there were chocolate chips in these. Because they're for my family. <laughs> I know I'm horrible. And yes, there are miracles. Kenny was desperate for yogurt and her aunt came to her rescue. Kenny. I understand that you were able to enjoy yogurt this week after all. Tell me about that. Yeah, my aunt is so nice. She heard about the challenge and stuff and she heard that we were gonna miss the yogurt and the ice cream the most. And she got some for us and I got to eat it and it was fantastic, it was so good. How long is it going to last you? I think it's already gone. <laughs> Oops. A good friend of mine owns a trucking company and they just happened to have a case of Twix that were a little bit damaged. And he dropped by this carton of Twix for our family. How did you come into possession of a box of 36 Twix bars without <laughs> purchasing them? So one of our family friends, uh, he, he drives trucks, but one of the boxes got of Twix got squished. But the Twix, the candies were all fine. And so he's like, here you go, have some candy. <laughs> Hope you survive. We also spent some extra time in our garden this week. Since we know that we're going to be relying on this food, we spend a little more time plucking out the weeds and making sure that everything was watered well. Are you going to be able to make it for the full 90 days? I think so. I might get cranky, but I think I'll make it. Are you going to be able to make it for the full 90 days? Oh, heck yes. We got this. It might not be fun, but we can do it. We are developing new habits and learning to appreciate the foods that we do have to eat. And now for the question of the day. How's your challenge coming along? Have you learned anything that could benefit our viewers? Comment below. And, and thanks, thanks for being part of the solution. solution.